minutes before three. This is J. Paul Huddleston, KHJ 2020 News. Tensions are high this afternoon on the Cal Berkeley campus as the Board of Regents hold their meeting on campus under the watchful eyes of scores of policemen and National Guardsmen, all for fears that there might be a recurrence of violence from student strikers that hit the school yesterday afternoon. An up-to-the-minute report on the situation now from KHJ's Roy Story in San Francisco. A hundred policemen stood guard against student violence today as Governor Ronald Reagan arrived at the University of California at Berkeley. Yesterday, screaming protesters called for Reagan's hide in a wild demonstration that ended only when police poured on the tear gas. Reagan drove to the campus today for a meeting of the Board of Regents, promising to halt the campus violence. In addition to his heavy police guard, National Guardsmen were alerted for possible action, but there were few students present at the governor's arrival. However, at this hour on the campus and on the surrounding perimeter, there are close to some 2,000 to 3,000 students waiting for the Board of Regents meeting to disperse for the weekend. Roy Story in Berkeley, KHJ 2020 News. Some surprise testimony today in the Sirhan Sirhan murder trial. Details upcoming on KHJ. Hi, old timer. Say, I didn't hear you drive up. <laughs> no, you didn't, did you? Did you get a new car? <laughs> no, new muffler. Went down to see them Sears boys. Oh, did I skunk them? If you're interested, I believe I can get you in. But don't tell no one. Well, I think I already know about it. You do? Guaranteed for as long as you own your car. Well, that's the one. And never any replacement charge or service charge if you should ever need a new one. What, that crazy Sears bunch? They tell the whole world about it. They're going to have a run on mufflers will put them clean out of business. Darn fools. I best call young Sears himself. He's going to ruin a fine store his granddaddy took years to build up. But Sears was built on this kind of volume merchandising. You just tell as many people as you can about this great Sears muffler. Guaranteed for as long as you own the car. Never any replacement or service charge. Hi, doggies, I believe you're right. Why, we'll get them Sears boys are going so busy, they'll have to open up a branch. Yeah. From Harbor General Hospital, the report that Oxnard grocer Richard Newell, who became the Southland's first heart transplant patient yesterday, had a cheery word of greeting for his wife this morning. The spokesman said that Newell had a restless night, but is now resting more comfortably. Newell received the heart of a Torrance housewife, Mrs. Shirley Ann Highhouse, shortly after she committed suicide following a family argument. A position to former President Harry Truman has described Mr. Truman's latest siege as just a plain old case of the G.I. flu. The 84-year-old Mr. Truman is reported to be resting comfortably and gaining strength after being taken to a hospital in Kansas City overnight. The search continues, but still there is no sign of that missing DC-3 airliner that is believed to have crashed in the snowy reaches of the High Sierra early Tuesday with 35 Los Angeles area persons aboard. The plane vanished shortly after taking off from Hawthorne, Nevada, to return a group of gamblers to Burbank and Long Beach. A bit of surprise testimony this morning in the Sirhan Sirhan Kennedy assassination trial. This as a Pasadena garbage collector, Alvin Clark, told the court that Sirhan had said he intended to shoot Senator Robert Kennedy at least two months before Kennedy was gunned down at the Ambassador Hotel last June 5th. H.J.'s Bill Brown spoke with Clark after he testified. Well, he told me that uh, about his... that he was going to kill Kennedy, his plan to shoot him. How did that come up? What did he tell you? What were you talking about? Well, like I told him that I was going to vote for Kennedy. And uh, he said, well, what do you want to vote for that SB for? I'm planning on shooting him. Clark said that he had many talks with Sirhan in front of the family home in Pasadena when he would go by to pick up the trash. And he said that he really didn't believe Sirhan was really planning to shoot the senator or he would have reported it to police. Our reporter Brown then asked defense attorney Russell Parsons if Clark's testimony was a blow to the defense contention that the shooting was not premeditated. For a jury to determine what credit they would give this type of a man, and uh, they had him before him, they saw him, they have to judge his credibility, whether uh, it's to be believed or not. Could you tell us some of the questions, maybe a, a couple that you asked this man while he was on the stand? Well, he was friendly with Sir Han, he said. Sir Ann uh, used to bring him out to cold drinks to drink, would sometimes give him food, ate lunch with him, and the uh, whole thing's difficult to appraise at the moment. In the Clay Shaw Kennedy conspiracy trial in New Orleans, the defense opened its case this morning, calling as its first witness the wife of Lee Harvey Oswald, the man charged in the Warren Commission report as being the lone assassin of the late president. 
Art Kevin is covering the trial for 2020 News. Under cross-examination, Mrs. Marina Oswald Porter told Prosecutor James Alcock that she in fact knew very little about her late husband's activities while they lived here in New Orleans in 1963. The widow of the accused presidential assassin told this Clay Shaw conspiracy trial that she never knew where Lee worked while they lived here, never had a telephone number at which to reach him, and never knew any of his friends. She said she did not consider her late husband to be a communist. Just after the assassination of President Kennedy, she said she saw Oswald at Dallas Police Headquarters for about 15 minutes with his mother, and all she could remember him saying at that time was that everything would be all right. She said he made no mention of the murder of the president and his possible part in it. She said she never saw him alive after that. The former Mrs. Lee Harvey Oswald paused halfway through her cross-examination for a glass of water. Regarding her questioning by the FBI after the assassination, Mrs. Porter said she was told by agents at that time to help them in their probe if she wanted to stay in this country, but she didn't consider it a threat. Art Kevin in New Orleans on special assignment for 2020 News. Trial has been set for April 15th for two brothers accused of the murder of silent screen star Ramon Navarro. Police accused Paul Robert and Thomas Scott Ferguson of binding and beating Navarro to death in his Hollywood Hills home last October 31st. This is KHJ 2020 News. Children are strange people. Out of nowhere they get fevers. And while the fever's there, they hurt. St. Joseph Aspirin for children is for those hurts. Children's hurts from colds and flu. It's the one aspirin more children's doctors recommend. It's pure aspirin with pure orange flavor. And no aspirin is made more carefully or more completely with your child in mind. St. Joseph Aspirin for children. When your child has a troublesome cough due to a cold, St. Joseph Cough Syrup for Children will speed welcome relief. It was specially created for children's special needs. You can depend on St. Joseph Cough Syrup for Children to suppress your child's cough quickly, effectively, yet gently. It contains suppressin, better than codeine because it's not narcotic. Yes, Mother, you can trust this specialized relief. Get St. Joseph Cough Syrup for Children, specially created for children's special needs. In Washington this morning, an incensed boarder shot his landlady, another boarder, seriously wounded three policemen in a pitched gun battle, then killed himself as flames touched off by tear gas shots into his room, swept the two-story apartment house. The man terrorized fellow tenants as he dodged from floor to floor of the rooming house in his running gun battle with police that lasted well over an hour. From Saigon, Jim Russell reports that the man in command of the military in South Vietnam believes that the communists are preparing another major offensive. The commander of U.S. forces in Vietnam today added his weight to predictions that the communists are planning another offensive in South Vietnam. General Creighton Abrams said there is massive evidence that there will be an offensive, or at least they want to launch one. Abrams said the communists would like to stage an offensive, in his words, just to show that they are omnipresent. The commanding general added that while the capital might be shelled in such an offensive, he did not believe there would be a major communist attack on Saigon. He did not say when he expected the offensive to begin. This is Jim Russell in Saigon. A terrorist bomb exploded in a crowded Jerusalem supermarket today, killing two persons and inflicting serious injuries on nine others. In Beirut, an Arab commando group promptly took credit for the bombing. And just as quickly, Israel warned that they might retaliate. Warning sparking fears that Israel may be planning reprisal raids against their Arab neighbors. Reports of a powerful explosion in Jerusalem have been greeted with dismay in Beirut. There was no immediate official comment, but privately Arab sources expressed considerable anxiety. If it's a commando bombing, it's madness, was the general attitude. Thinking Arabs, beginning to hope they might escape Israeli reprisal for the guerrilla assault on an El Al airliner at Zurich, had no illusions that another attack on civilians would bring crushing retribution. Past explosions in Jerusalem and Tel Aviv have been attributed to three commando groups. The Popular Front, who staged all the airliner attacks, the Palestine Liberation Forces, and the Fatah guerrillas. Jerry Lockton in Beirut. An emergency measure was passed by the City Council today, paving the way for the removal of the hazard being posed by that house that is slipping off its cliffside foundation and threatening to topple onto Pacific Coast Highway. The action will allow the city to knock down the house along Porta Marino Way and the Pacific Palisades. At present, it is no longer safe and barely usable as a dwelling, and due to its danger of completely tumbling down the busy thoroughfare, 
Pacific Coast Highway remains closed to all traffic between Sunset Boulevard and Topanga Canyon Boulevard. The City Bureau of Street Maintenance said demolition of the home will begin sometime this afternoon. 93 KHJ Sports! In Pacific 8 basketball action tonight, UCLA will host Oregon State at Pauley Pavilion. Oregon plays USC at the Sports Arena. Will Chamberlain and Bill Russell go at it tonight when the Lakers host the Celtics at the Forum. In the Tucson Open today, Johnny Pot has an early second round lead, shooting a 7 under par 65 for a 135 in 36 holes. Baseball's Washington Senators have called a news conference for 4 o'clock this afternoon, Los Angeles time, possibly to announce the signing of Ted Williams as their new field manager and part owner. And former football star Elroy Hirsch of the Rams is considering an offer to become athletic director at the University of Wisconsin. Gage J, first in Los Angeles with 2020 News. Car sales are sort of like hit records. One's on top one month, another one the next. This is Gene Weed to remind you that one car is in a class by itself and has been for a long time, and that's Mustang. Still the number one selling sporty compact. Mustang's the car more people want. And Ford's Mustang Plus sale that's going on right now is the perfect time to go Mustang. Mustang Plus means you get a new Mustang with all the most popular extras at a special discount price. Choose a Mustang with pinstripes, racing mirrors, white walls, deluxe wheel covers, and hood scoop, and you save real money. Okay, you say, a big Ford is your cup of tea? In that case, your Ford dealer has the answer. Because during the Mustang Plus sale, he's also selling specially equipped, specially priced Galaxies, as well as Fairlanes and Falcons at real savings. But remember, Mustang Plus sale is for a limited time only. So be sure you see your Ford dealer right away. KHJ Weather! Just ahead of another chapter in the history of rock and roll. Look for cloudy and rainy tonight. Turning to showers tomorrow with rain again by Sunday. Low tonight, 47. High tomorrow, 58. Here in Hollywood now, it's 56 degrees. This is J. Paul Huddleston, KHJ News. The history of rock and roll.